Council tonight regarding a request of administration to approve the purchase of cameras for the intermodal garage. While necessary for the safety and security of the residents, I would like this council to stand and act against the wholly improper piggybacking of this purchase onto a purchase made years ago. Regardless of where this money came from, the general fund, the commonwealth, or the federal government, it is still money from your pocket, my pocket, and the pockets of every taxpayer in this room and in this city. This whole story sounds familiar. First, it's propriety, equipment, then we'll have our warranty voided, and now it's CoStars. I looked on CoStars last night and indeed found Schneider Electric. However, I could not find a single piece of surveillance camera equipment listed for them. The product has to be registered to be part of the program, and it is not. In fact, the specific camera system with this type and model number must be specifically on there for it to be purchased through coasters. To procure equipment for a public project without advertising for bids to ensure the best possible price is not only improper, it is bordering on illegal. I ask this council to stand tall and act today to stop this improper use of public funds. In closing, I have to ask, what is so hard about just doing things the right way in the first place. Amen. Anybody care to comment? Well, like I said, I was under the impression that it was needed to be bid. But after speaking to uh, Mr. Baruch, who assured me that all the equipment that we're getting from Coast, uh, Schneider Electric is under the Coast Guard, and so, so is the labor. And in, in the meantime, I called the DV, DVTEL to check about the self-procurement. He says if there's other uh, people eligible to put the system in that, that they work with, but that would be foolish on our part since there are so many modifications made to the camera systems constantly over the next last three, four years, they'll be totally confused when it comes to hooking it up. He recommended we, we stick with, with Schneider Electric. And that was the, the representative from uh, Thank you, Mr. Mike. With Captain George is pretty much saying there is that administration did follow proper procedure during this transaction. Can't hear him. Right, that's so, right? Mr. George, right? Right. So, the administration did follow the procurement rules and regs. Can't uh, remind everybody that all this money is audited by the federal and state government. The first stage right through the end. So this, this administration, the leadership from Reed McCormick, 